Welcome to the Junos Automation API Overview Module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain the framework and libraries used to automate Junos OS devices. Automation has been a part of Junos since its inception. Over the past 25 plus years, the Junos OS has developed rich automation capabilities and supports multiple APIs, libraries, tools, and programming languages. The different layers of the Junos automation stack and the protocols and languages that the Junos OS supports for automation is provided. Just above the routing engine and the packet forwarding engine layer sits the Junos OS. The Junos OS includes the kernel that provides infrastructure for the Junos processes. These processes carry out the core functions of the Junos OS. When you automate a Junos device, it is these processes that eventually execute the automation commands. The main Junos processes responsible for automation are the Management Process, or MGD, and the Juniper Extension Toolkit, or JET Service Process, or JSD. The MGD handles automation requests received using the Junos XML, yet another Next Generation, or YANG, and Representational State Transfer, or REST APIs as well as some functions. For example, Ansible executes locally stored Python modules and accesses the Junos device using the Network Configuration Protocol, or NetConf, and the XML API. Junos forwards the received Ansible commands to the Junos MGD process for execution. The JSD service handles automation requests that use JET API. Junos works well in DevOps environments for these reasons. Junos has a rich set of APIs. Junos uses transactional configuration updates, the Junos commit model. Junos configuration and operational data are based on a consistent XML data model. Junos supports popular IT automation and configuration management systems such as Ansible, Salt, Puppet, and Chef. In addition to remote management through APIs, Junos supports on-box scripts and applications. The Junos XML API provides on-box automation, operation, commit, event, and SNMP scripts, as well as off-box automation using third-party automation tools. To retrieve data from the Junos XML API, off-box solutions must leverage a protocol to transmit XML documents. One protocol used for Junos off-box automation is NetConf. NetConf is an open, standards-based protocol, RFC 6241, and is used by multiple vendors. NetConf contains mechanisms that provide full programmatic access to Junos devices. Using XML documents and remote procedure calls or RPCs, you can transport configuration data and operational commands to network devices. NetConf has been Juniper's automation protocol of choice for many years and is supported on all Junos devices. It is the foundation upon which many Juniper automation technologies are built, including Junos PyEasy, Yang, and OpenConfig. In most cases, NetConf uses SSH as the transport protocol, although RFC 6241 enables other options, for example, Transport Layer Security, or TLS. Libraries that make automating your network easier are available for multiple programming languages. These libraries provide simple and flexible options for connecting to Junos devices using NetConf and leverage the Junos XML API for management. A REST API provides HTTP clients access to objects that correspond to unique URLs on a REST server. REST clients use HTTP methods like get, put, and post, and data in the request body to perform actions on the REST server. REST is considered stateless because no client context is stored on the REST server. All session state is maintained on the REST client. Each request from a REST client contains all the information necessary to process the request. A REST API can be accessed using any program or programming language capable of generating HTTP commands. Tools like Postman or CURL are commonly used for testing. For actual programming, libraries have been developed for many programming languages like Python, 
that simplify the generation of REST API requests. Junos provides a REST API on MX, PTX, QFX, T, and SRX series platforms, including the VMX and VSRX. It exposes Juno's configuration and operational mode capabilities to REST HTTP clients. The example demonstrates using the curl utility to execute a get software information RPC on the 192.168.1.1 host and the XML response. This output is equivalent to a Junos CLI show version operational mode command. Organizations using management or monitoring systems based on REST can easily integrate Junos platforms. Other benefits of the Junos REST API include ease of configuration, no need to enable or use netconf, the ability to retrieve data in multiple formats, the availability of a REST API explorer, and support for Secure Sockets Layer or SSL. Welcome to the overview of Juno's Automation Tools module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain the tools used to automate Juno's devices. The Juno's OS enables you to customize the behavior of a device with commit, operation, event, and SNMP scripts that run on the Juno's device. These scripts take XML input, process it, call the Junos function specified in the script, and output the instructions to Junos. The type of input accepted and the information returned is different for each of the different script types. The programming languages used for Junos on-box scripting are Extensible Stylesheet Language Transformations, or XSLT, Stylesheet Language Alternative Syntax, or SLAX, and Python. XSLT is a standards-based language for processing XML data. XSLT was developed by the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C. SLAX is an open-source language that mimics the semantics of C and Perl languages. SLAX is a preprocessor that converts its SLAX syntax to XSLT. Therefore, scripts written in SLAX are executed the same way as scripts written in XSLT. The Junos OS supports Python on-box scripting starting with Junos 16.1. This also includes support for the Junos PyEasy library on-box. The types of the Junos scripts that you can develop and use are commit scripts that run every time a user commits the configuration. They can be used to automate configuration tasks, enforce consistency, catch common mistakes, and more. Operation scripts can be run from the command line, essentially working as custom operational commands. Among other things, they enable you to automate troubleshooting, either by having the Junos OS attempt basic troubleshooting or by having it automatically display the information that you specify, thereby helping to streamline the troubleshooting process. Operation scripts can also change configuration. Event scripts are similar to operation scripts except that they are initiated by an event policy. This feature enables you to have the software automatically respond to events that it logs, such as interface state changes or BGP neighbor state changes. SNMP scripts provide the flexibility to create custom MIBs that are not available in the Junos OS. They are triggered automatically when the SNMP manager requests information from the SNMP agent for an object identifier or OID that is mapped to an SNMP script for a non-Junos OID. Junos PyEasy is a powerful open-source Python library that is easy to learn and use. It enables you to automate all aspects of Junos device management, including configuration, monitoring, software upgrades, file system maintenance, and so on using Python. Junos PyEasy enables you to read and upload device configuration in several formats, including text, XML, JavaScript object notation, or JSON, or Junos set commands. It parses all XML remote procedure call or RPC outputs automatically. Multiple utilities are also included to help with maintenance tasks. Automation management systems, also known as IT automation platforms, or configuration management systems, 
refer to software used in DevOps environments. Junos integrates with some of the most widely used automation management systems in the industry, including Ansible, Salt, Puppet, and Chef. An automation management system provides multiple benefits. Manages hundreds or thousands of devices. Enables you to take a declarative approach to configuring your network. You define the desired final state of the system, and the automation management system performs the low-level configuration. Most automated management systems support some type of configuration templating. The automated management system renders the templates to create the actual configuration that is uploaded to manage devices. Operations like software upgrades, file uploads, file downloads, and so on are also typically available. Platforms such as Salt enable you to react to events and take actions based on the event type and severity. Note that all automation management systems use the Junos XML API and Network Configuration Protocol, or NetConf, over SSH to manage Junos devices. Ansible is an automation platform that makes deploying and managing Junos devices easy. Ansible enables you to avoid writing complex scripts or custom code. Instead, Ansible enables you to automate using simple to understand YAML ain't markup language files. Another Ansible advantage is that no agent is required on the managed devices. Ansible can perform operational and configuration tasks on devices running the Junos OS, including installing and upgrading the Junos OS, deploying devices in the network, loading configuration, retrieving information, and resetting, rebooting, or shutting down managed devices. Salt is a powerful configuration management platform that was created and maintained by the SaltStack company. It was purchased by VMware in 2020. Salt enables you to define the desired state of a system and enforce that state on managed devices. You can also use Salt to execute commands on remote devices. It is Python-based and utilizes a Salt proxy minion to connect to Junos devices. The Salt proxy minion supports the ability to gather facts from Junos devices, manage and commit configurations, execute RPCs and CLI commands, install software and copy files. Salt is event-driven and popular for use with Junos platforms because of its ability to perform event-driven closed-loop automation. Puppet is designed to perform device configuration management, and it provides an efficient and a scalable solution for managing the configurations on a large number of devices. System administrators frequently use Puppet to manage compute resources, such as physical and virtual servers. Juniper Networks supports using Puppet to manage network devices running Junos. Puppet is deployed using a client-server model where the Puppet server manages one or more agent nodes. The client process or Puppet agent runs on each of the managed resources. Puppet's manifest files describe the desired system configuration. The Puppet server compiles the manifests into catalogs. The Puppet agent periodically retrieves the catalog and applies the necessary changes to the configuration. Puppet is based on the Ruby programming language. To use Puppet with Junos devices, you need to install the JPuppet module on the Junos device. Documentation for Juniper support of Puppet can be found on the Juniper website. Chef automates the provisioning and management of compute, networking, and storage resources on-site or in the cloud, or both. Chef transforms code into infrastructure, enabling you to configure, deploy, and scale infrastructure in real time and reduce the risk of human error. Chef enables you to write abstract definitions of your infrastructure in Ruby and manage the definitions like you manage source code. These abstract definitions, which are called cookbooks, are applied to the nodes in your infrastructure by the Chef clients running on those nodes. Chef is supported on selected Junos devices using a Chef client that is installed on the Junos device. You can find installation and support information by searching the Juniper website. The Junos Extension Toolkit, or JET, is an evolution of the Junos Software Development Kit, or SDK, that provides a modern and programmatic interface for developers of third-party Junos applications. Using JET, 
Junos devices can host one or more third-party applications, such as monitoring tools, OnBox Puppet and Chef Agents, a Git client, or even a Twitter client that generates tweets when triggered by specific device events. JET contains tools that aid in programming the Junos control plane. The Junos control plane has always been programmable, but JET makes it easier and faster. Customers can use JET to create customized CLI commands and SNMP MIBs instead of waiting for Juniper to add the functionality to the Junos OS. The flexibility of JET broadens the ability of Junos to meet market demands for Juniper and customers. All communication generated using the CLI, NetConf, and the Representational State Transfer, or REST API, pass through the management or MGD process. An additional automation process is available in Junos called the JET Service Process, or JSD. The JSD process aggregates the individual APIs belonging to the Routing Protocol Daemon, or RPD, the Firewall Filter Daemon, or DFWD, and other Junos processes, and exposes those APIs with a consistent look and feel. It exposes the same APIs that Juniper programmers use for internal development and provides another set of APIs to use for automation. Remote procedure calls that utilize JSD are transported using the gRPC protocol instead of NetConf. Some of the benefits of the JET APIs include faster commit times, improved device telemetry, and a wider range of possible languages available for automation. JET supports multiple programming languages for off-box application development. On-box JET applications can be developed in Python, C, or C++. If an application that you plan to develop has a dependency on C or C++ modules, or the application needs to be signed, then you can use the JET virtual machine provided by Juniper to develop the application. As mentioned earlier, JET uses gRPC, an RPC framework, as a mechanism to provide the request and response service. The gRPC server is part of the JSD process. To keep up with the rapid configuration changes that automation systems can generate, the JET includes the fast programmatic configuration feature, which is often referred to as the ephemeral database. The ephemeral database can commit over 1,000 configuration changes per second. To reach this magnitude of commits per second, commits are not validated. This means that you need to ensure that the app is pushing a valid configuration. Juno's Snapshot Administrator in Python, or JSnappy, captures and audits runtime environments of network devices running Juno's OS. It automates network state verification by capturing and validating the status of a device. It takes pre-modification and post-modification snapshots and compares them based on provided test cases. JSnappy can also be used to audit the runtime environment of a device against predefined criteria. JSnappy is an open source project, and the source code is available on the GitHub website. You can access the website from the reference links document. Zero Touch Provisioning, or ZTP, enables you to set up new devices in your network without manual intervention. When you connect a device to the network and boot it with a default configuration, it attempts to upgrade the Junos OS software and load a pre-existing configuration file from the network. The device uses information that you configure on a dynamic host configuration protocol, or DHCP server, to determine whether or not to perform these actions and to locate the necessary software image and configuration files on the network. If you do not configure the DHCP server to provide this information, the switch boots with the pre-installed software and default configuration.